Ah. 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 Ha ha ha. How good's that? Two wins in a row against top teams. You can't get any better than that. You can't get any better than that. Mm. Oh. oh, that's good. But guys, should the West Tigers be taken seriously after winning two games against top teams? That's what we're going to discuss tonight. But guys, if you do like the video and you do like the content on this channel, make sure to like and subscribe. Do all that good shit. And let's get it underway with the... Um, Bit of a review about tonight's game against South and Rabbitohs, and also discussing what's next for the Tigers. So, I think everyone already knows Jackson Hastings in halfback has been amazing for the West Tigers. He has taken direction into the side. He's been the leader when the Tigers lacked a lot of leadership, and he just knows how to direct the team. And that's what the Tigers lacked for a lot of, I would say, years. Not just for this year, but for many years prior. Luke Brooks... I wouldn't say he couldn't, no, I'm not even going to say, he, he really couldn't handle the pressure of being a halfback, of being a director of a rugby league side, because w with a halfback, yeah, people think halfback and 5'8 are quite similar, there's a lot of differences, halfbacks are usually the leader of the, the uh, of the team, they use, they always direct the play, they're, they're always the ones calling the shots, 5'8s do that, but they, they usually play off, um, play off the halfbacks, and they're usually that second fiddle player. Um, but yeah, Brooks moving into 5-8, it's taken a lot of pressure off him, and like he said tonight, he just loved playing the footy again, because now he's focusing on his own game, focusing on his own, um, own skills and everything, and it's really showing, it's showing tonight, his defense is much better, his kicks are getting better, passing is getting better as well, although he did throw a bit of bombs tonight, but it is getting better, as well as his kicking and defense. <laughs> Like I said, he's starting to play. He's starting to love playing his footy again, and it's really good to see Luke Brooks enjoy playing rugby league. From you know, every time the West Tigers have a bad year or a bad game, he's the first one that fingers are getting pointed at. So, him, I would say, I'd say downing some of the haters wrong and proving that he is a top player. It's really refreshing to see, but. I can't just talk about the half. I have to talk about the whole team as well. The whole team plays amazing. The forwards are looking really strong. Um, their runs are looking great. Luanchele Lua is amazing. Can't believe we're letting him go next year to the, to the Cowboys. A top buy, a top jackpot buy for the Cows. And just everyone else in the forwards, they're just playing their part well. They're, they're running their lines good. They're playing off the halfbacks great. Dane Laurie as well, even though he did miss the second half due to an, uh, an MCR, I'm pretty sure. His first half was phenomenal. He, he was swallowing all the kicks well and and um, yeah, he did put a lot of pressure in attack as well. And the wingers, oh, Mamalo and North Luma played great tonight. They were always available in the attack. The, the, their defense was all right, although North Luma did get caught a bit inside when he should have stayed a bit more out. But other than that, it was a really entertaining performance from both sides. And the stats st talk about it as well. I'm pretty sure we had 30 tackle busts. We completed 45 from 47 in sets. And we only made three errors tonight against, well, South Sydney's 16 errors. That says a lot. That says a lot. And how we've we, we fixed up our discipline. And we're, we're playing not only with belief, but just with determination and, and courage. So now here's the big question. With two wins against Paramount and South Sydney, which are relatively top teams, some might even say top four sites, should the West Tigers be taken seriously? Then again, it is only two wins. We shouldn't get this over our heads, and we do have a, uh, we do have a lot of other teams we need to face to prove that we're, we're this top side, like like the Storm, the Panthers, uh, the Sea Eagles. You know, we still have a lot to prove to ourselves. And given at the start of the year we did lose to teams like the Warriors, like uh, who was the Titans. Uh, the Knights, you know, teams that we really should have beaten. Um, look, uh, this is a great start into finding not only momentum, but um, finding our place I I in the uh, in the ladder. Because I read, I, I believe, if you know, the next games we have, we have Manly, we have uh, the Cowboys, the Dragons. And I'm not sure which one's next. I'm pretty sure it could be the Bulldogs. Uh, I'm not too sure, but those are games that we can win. 
uh, from our from our performances with, with, with our last two games, we can win a, a good majority of those of our next games. Uh, Manly and Cowboys are going to be the tough one. Manly, you know, are always a tough team to face, and the Cowboys are looking on the up this year. So those are good games to prove ourselves. Um, but look, I reckon this is a huge turnaround for the West Tigers. Jackson Hastings was he, he, he was the change that the Tigers need, moving him to halfback. And look, if there's one thing I say we need to improve on as a team is to not letting other teams come back. Uh, although we did win against Paramount and South Sydney, they were one point games, and they could have easily won those games, if not for lucky calls, I reckon. So that is something we need to work on defensively is to not let teams come back but other than that I reckon we played amazing out there and this does look like a huge turnaround for the West Tigers do not let it get it over our heads because there is still a long road yet to go we are still two from five so we are still in that bottom four position but if we can you know get some wind on get some wins under us against some top teams like we already have I can see a huge turnaround for the West Tigers I, I really can but other than that that's my that's my short take on the West Tigers if they are a top eight team uh, the way we're playing right now, yes we are, but we have a lot more to prove. But other than that, that is the video tonight, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Do all that good shit, and I will see you in the next one. Stay strong, stay safe, all out champo.